Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a little bit of 2019 Panini Unparalleled Football. Eight box inner case, pick team number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. Remember, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get an entry into our break credit promo. Four teams will get you two entries, six teams will get you three entries, so on and so forth. Here's our last master case right here. And after this, I don't know if we're going to be getting any more unparalleled after this, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of other new football releases to get in on in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right. Ooh, Josh Donson crushed one. We'll use that one right there. I like this one. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be three. So one, two, three. We're doing that side right here. So this will be for pick your team eight, which we could do tonight. Yeah, that was pretty close, TJ. TJ was guessing two on the roll. Wow, Hyunjin Ru giving up back-to-back -back solo homers? It's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting, Hyunjin Ru. I'll have another cup of coffee, but Jim won't. My husband won't. You know, I think I will have that second cup of coffee. Jim never has a second cup of coffee at home. Well, Nationals coming back. they got a 9-8 lead right now. All sorts of baseball wackiness happening. All right, good luck. A lot of preseason football games happening too. We'll be in a in a in a pretty incredible time of year, ladies and gentlemen, where we'll have September and then playoff baseball, September, October. We'll have the Premier League will be well underway, soccer. And then we'll have like preseason basketball happening in October. And then we'll roll into some hockey as well, and then the basketball regular season and football season will be in full swing. Man, a lot of excitement, boys and girls, a lot of excitement. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's fly through these. There's Jared Goff, touchdown threads to 150. Sup, Dennis? Oh, everything's going well. We're having a nice little Saturday together here. We got Zadarius Smith, Whirl, to 129. So I think everything ships in this. So I think these are parallels, those are base cards. And then that's not numbered, but these are numbered right here. They're kind of always in the same spot. So there's Infinite to 150. There's Randy Bullock to 200. So if I miss anything, don't worry, you'll, you'll get everything anyway. We got Brian Brownecker, that is out of 75, Impact, parallel. We got Patrick Anwusar to 150 for the Purple Birds. And there's your hit, you saw the Debo Samuel right here, jersey and autograph.
Niners. Who's got the Niners? Chad O with the Niners. We've got Astral, Terrell Suggs to 200. Kind of looks weird in a uh, that Cardinals uniform. And for the Panthers, we've got Brian Burns. Brian Burns, Anthony Lopez with the Panthers. We got Anwusar again to 129, Purple Birds. And that's box one in the books. Next. Who's a sleeper on the Raiders? Fantasy wise? Yeah, what, what what's everyone's fantasy sleepers? What what's what are your picks? My draft is on Monday. I need some help. What do you think? Who should I be targeting? It's a it's a twelve or fourteen team auction league. It's a two QB league, so two, the quarterbacks get priced really high, really overpriced. I'm keeping I'm keeping Gurley. I got a good price on him, I think. I, I'm keeping um, Julio Jones, kind of overpaying for him. And I'm keeping Phillip Rivers, so I need a second quarterback. I would have kept Drew Brees, but I think he would have been too expensive for this upcoming year. Hmm, I'll have to think about Raider sleepers. Von Miller, relic for the Broncos. That's going to go to Ryan Redman. Gilo is saying that's to 100, by the way. Broncos, little oppo, Joe Mojo, the Raiders guy. Derwin Thompson might have a chance of being the starter for starting running back for the Chiefs if Damian Williams keeps getting hurt and Carlos Hyde continues to be mediocre. That could be interesting. There's Kenyon Drake to 75, impact. I mean, is Josh Jacobs a sleeper? Probably not. Raiders running back. There's Case Keenum. But I feel like there'll be a bit of a... John Gruden likes to rotate running backs a lot, so he's going to be probably using everybody. But I don't know. Does Josh Jacobs have that big play ability? Maybe. There's Damian Harris for the Pats to 129. Got J.J. Watt to 150. Maybe Hunter Renfro. He could be an interesting receiver. Maybe a, a wide receiver three kind of guy. There's John Johnson the third to 150 for the Rams. And there is Christian Wilkins to 200. Astral for the Dolphins. And another Debo Samuel jersey and autograph for the 49ers. It'll be for Chad. Chad Oz. I'm not going to attempt your last name at the moment, Chad. I'm not confident enough yet. And there's Whirl T.Y. Hilton, 007. Doo -doo 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 out of 100. Colts, of course. Karen with the Colts. Hey, I was just talking about you, Hunter. Well, that's kind of weird. Hunter Renfro for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? Chad does. There you go, Chad. I, I don't know. Maybe in deeper leagues, he'd be a, probably. Um, if he if he's if he makes the team and he's getting some starts and everything, they start to use him. Could be an interesting uh, daily fantasy guy. You know, if you're looking for a cheap wide receiver who, you know, who might get some sneaky touchdowns here and there. Get some yards, get some catches. That might be Hunter Renfro's M.O. right there. I think the Raiders are really focusing. I think, I think the Raiders' offense overall will be okay. 
maybe a Raiders tight end. You know, whoever whoever uh, whoever emerges as the uh, Raider starting tight end may be the. Yeah, I saw that Mothro, Wentz and Carr. That's a good pick. Um, I think uh, the tight end. Raiders like to use the tight end position. You saw what they they use Jared Cook a lot. I mean, I think they had to use him a lot. Their wide receivers weren't very good, but you know there could be a Raiders tight end that emerges um, as a pass catcher. Could be interesting. Yeah, Michael Hardman with his kind of home run ability, Gilo. Oh, he just scored a touchdown too. With his home run ability, that could be a great daily fantasy kind of pick too. Maybe like a, a long, like a long shot that might, with his speed, could just break out for huge gains at any time. There's undeniable relic Juju Smith Schuster, Michael Gallucci with the Steelers. That is to 150. Andy Dahl, Nastral, to 200. We got Dontrell Hilliard to 75. Impact. That's a parallel. That Stanley Morgan Jr. for the Bengals. That's to 150. There's Derek Carr. There's Doug Baldwin, 200 for the Seahawks. Anyone else have any sort of sleeper picks that they want to share? Are they just, are they keep are you guys keeping it secret? Joe Flacco for the Broncos. That's to 129. And there's Ryan Finley, jersey and autograph, Brian with the Bengals. Yeah, Raiders running back should be pretty cool too. I mean, Raiders upgraded at at the offense. At wide receiver, they draft. They seem to have drafted well. That's Shelby Harris for the Broncos. They got Antonio Brown, obviously. Josh Jacobs was a good pickup. You know, uh, Doug Martin is still there. DeAndre Washington or Jalen Richard could still put in work. So they got some versatility. They got some bodies out there. I think their offense is going to be fine. There's Brian Burns, another Panthers autograph for uh, Anthony. I think of maybe a sleeper defense, Raiders. I know they're really committing to trying to trying to improve that defense. That was definitely a, a weak spot last year. There were a lot of weak spots last year, but you know they let a lot of games slip away in the fourth quarter because of that defense. Mikel Armstead's going to go to Chad, by the way, Jaguars. So maybe in a maybe maybe you could, that could be a streamable defense based on some matchups. They may be able to, to surprise some people. I know former Bengals DC definitely wants to, you know, they definitely wants to improve on that. Last year was not very good. Yeah, Ryan, you're right. The division is tough. You gotta, I gotta face Gilo's Chiefs twice a year. I gotta face, face the Broncos twice a year, Chargers twice a year, and those are all, you know, and Chiefs and, Bron Chiefs and Chargers obviously are, are teams Looking to, uh, looking to win the division. So, and the Broncos are gonna be better this year, you know. So, yeah, Raiders are in a tough spot. I, I like the Raiders in the future. I mean, I, th I think going going forward, I like where the direction the Raiders are going. But they got a little ways before they may battle for a playoff spot again. Yeah, the Chiefs' defense could be a little underrated. That was the huge issue for the Chiefs last year. We saw that in the regular season and in the playoffs. Chiefs shore up that defense. That could be... A lot of people may be underrating the Chiefs' defense right here. Everyone knows what this guy can do. There's touchdown threads. My homies, Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs. That'll be for Chad Stork. To 150. There's Le'Veon... 25. How does everyone feel about Le'Veon Bell as a, like, fantasy-wise? Maybe from the mouth of people who are New York or Jets fans, maybe? Todd Gurley to 129. I think, I think he'll be okay. I think they've, they've got some, uh, some weapons in that backfield so they can kind of alleviate Todd Gurley's carries and touches. 
There's Jarrell Casey for the Titans. I think Todd Gurley will probably get a lot of goal line carries. But he won't be like an every down kind of back. You know, they'll maybe just so just to relieve the impact on him, lengthen his career out, get him less injured, maybe do some more pass catching. There's Andy Isabella impact, seventy five. Gilo says Bell has no line. He'll just keep complaining. Here's David Sills for the Bills. Quarrel to 129. We saw what a healthy Keenan Allen can do. He should have, if he's healthy, he should have another nice season. Kirk Cousins to 150. And there's Andy Isabella. Jersey and autograph for the Cardinals. Gary Eck with the Arizona Football Cardinals. Leighton Vander Esch to 200 for the Cowboys. And there's Hunter Renfro again. Little Raider Joe Mojo continuing for Chad Oz. That might be your third receiver right there on the Raiders, Hunter Renfro. Antonio Brown on one side. Tyrell Williams, I think, is a great pickup for the Raiders on the other side. And then maybe Hunter Renfro kind of sneak in there as a third wide receiver. All right, next box. Almost there, about four boxes away, about maybe 10, 15 minutes away, finishing off this break. Like we got, do we see any orders coming in here? We got a couple orders. We got an order from Bruce and an order from Tim. Now, unless Bruce and Tim filled up a break, we're gonna need a, we need a few more people than that to get into the action, boys and girls. If you want to get to some break credit tonight, just want to get some more breaks in general done tonight. There's no offense. For the Broncos. That's the 25. Right, I wonder if Noah Fant could be an interesting tight end, right? For fantasy teams. There's an autograph for the Vikings. Dylan Mitchell. Chad Oz with the Vikings. There's uh, Jayon Brown to 200 for the Titans. We got for the Rams, David Long to 129. Jay Mike, what's up? Oh. Um, do you mind sending a message through the... Uh, The eBay man, you know what? I'll no. Thanks for letting me know. I'll let Nick know. Thanks. There's Sony Michelle. Undeniable relic. For the Patriots, that's going to go to Karen and her Pats. Out of 200, Robert Tanyan for the Packers. That goes to Brian Langley. There's Tyrell Williams. We were just talking about him, too. I like what he did with San Diego. Kind of a speedy guy. Big, bigger target than Antonio Brown, so they got some size there. Out of 150, Sean Murphy Bunting. Uh, passes the Bunting, as they say in the U.K., uh, Abri Jones. I, was, I almost said Arby. Arby's Jones. Maybe some sponsorship opportunities there. Next box. Gilo thinks the Broncos are just a uh, QB away from making at least the playoffs. Kind of surprised it took them until the second round to get one. Yeah, what's the story with Drew Locke? You think he'll. I mean, I guess Flacco is starting the. 
Do they they kind of kind of let Drew Locke marinate this year? And hopefully he comes around. I guess that's the big question, right? The, like it's like does does Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway know how to scout quarterbacks? Bellinger got struck out, man on. Dodgers only down by one off after a Muncie solo shot. Dodgers could still win this one. I'm on the Dodgers. I think Cardinals officially lost. Come on, Cardinals. I need the Dodgers, definitely. And I need the Rangers. Wow. Everyone took the over on the uh, Minnesota-Texas game, right? It's already 8-6 in the top of the third. After Minnesota put up six on the Rangers in the first inning, and the Rangers made it a two-run game already. That's crazy. Hopefully everyone had the over. There's Ben Brownnecker to 129 for the Bears. Your hit is Jersey and Auto, J.J. Arcega Whiteside. Jersey and Autograph for the Eagles. Don Rabb with the Fly Eagles Fly. No, Drew Locke's not ready yet, says you. He's like throwing around all, throwing footballs all over the place. There's Robert Foster for the Bills. That's going to go to Lucas Snow. There is Kenyon Drake, Whirl, to 129. Uh, no, Rich, I haven't seen a Galactic yet. Out of 150, Infinite. There's Travion Williams for the Bengals. That's going to go to Brian Shutt. We've got Undeniable, Christian McCaffrey Relic. We've got Case Keenum, Impact to 75. Redskins. Sam Darnold to 150 for the Jets. We got Nick Bosa, Astral to 200. Two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I am too. I'm excited to see if the Browns are the real deal. They certainly got... They certainly have all the pieces. If... It, I, I don't know. If there's something that would probably hurt them, it would just... It would be coaching, right? Maybe coaching is their biggest weakness. They got the quarterback. They got a running game. They got guy. They got pass catchers, right? Odell Beckham Jr., David Yoku, etc., you know, they've got guys on the offensive line, guys on the defensive line. They got some linebackers. They got some They got some defensive backs out there. There's Randy Bullock. I mean, I'm assuming they have a – do they have a good special teams game? I'm sure they have a decent special teams game. Now, now all that just has to come together for the Browns. There's Chris Godwin to 150. That's the key. Can the coaches put all that together? And can, the, can just the players themselves put it all together? Angelo Blackson going to the Texans 200. High Flyers, Impact 75, T.Y. Hilton.
There's Terrell Suggs, Whirl, to 129 for the Cardinals. There's Jersey and Auto, Nick Bosa. That is for the Niners. Chad Oz. And a redemption. There's Trace McSorley for the Purple Birds to 150. Any guesses on that redemption? Yeah, that's going to be a great storyline. Baker Mayfield versus Odell Beckham Jr. There's Joey Bosa. So we saw his brother, his younger brother. Now we see the elder Joey Bosa, the elder Bosa. Nice patch. Impact parallel. That's to 75. That goes to the Bolts. That is from Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain. Tevin Coleman, Astral to 200. Any guesses? No guesses on that redemption? Just bragging rights? Oh yeah, Gilo can see Ob Odell Beckham Jr. whining about not getting enough looks. I can't wait for the first. Uh, I can't wait for the first uh, Antonio Brown meltdown. Andrew guessing the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Rich Schmidt guessing TB12. TJ thinking Broadway Joe. Paul Hutchins got Paris Campbell. I think I don't. Even, I've even seen a redemption in this. Is this our first redemption? There has been no Antonio Brown zero meltdowns. What are you talking about? We've got it's Paris Campbell. Paul Hutchins got it. Rookie Jersey Autographs Impact Parallel, which I think is the 75. Colts? <laughs> Blanking on Paris Campbell. Colts. <laughs> One frostbite? Yeah, I mean, that's not a meltdown, though. He, he just was just a was just a dumb. And the helmet thing wasn't a meltdown. He was just like he just wanted his own helmet. It's not a meltdown. I'm talking like him like yelling at Derek Carr kind of meltdown. Him blowing up John Gruden in a press conference kind of meltdown. There's Derek Henry, Jersey. He's been a model citizen for the Raiders so far. Ryan Redman with the Titans. There's Jonathan Abram, Astral to two hundred. The helmet thing was not a melt. Everyone else blew it up. Oh, he's going to retire. He's not going to retire. Everyone knows that. The media blew it up. Haters blew it up. That's just him being a diva, not melting down. There's Dwayne Haskins, Impact. And see, guess what? It turned out just fine. He has a helmet. He's all right. Slow news week. Everyone wanted to jump on... The Jump on the helmet controversy. There's the NFL Network has nothing else to talk about. ESPN has nothing to talk about. There's Nikhil Harry, Patriots. No meltdown there. There's Matthew Stafford, as if he was really going to leave football. You going to leave all that money on the table? No way. No, I don't think anyone took that seriously, right? Spirit of the game, Sony Michelle, for Karen and her Patriots. Ooh, it looks like a quarterback in red there. QB in red, but it's over now. Jags at 25. Chad Oz, and it's Kyler Murray. Jersey and autograph for Gary Eck. And the Arizona Football Cardinals. There he is. A couple rough preseason games, but they're preseason games. I'm not worried yet. There it is. Kyler Murray, Gary Eck, and the Cardinals. We've got Gardner Minshew 
to 129. You really thought Antonio Brown was going to leave football and leave millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars on the table just because he couldn't find a helmet? Come on. There's a little Jordan Humphrey. Now, then you're just buying into all of the, the, the Antonio Brown is a troublemaker narrative. He's not. He is, but he's not. <laughs> Ed Garrett's with the Saints. There you go, Ed. Hi, Ed. Got the last hit of the break. And that's it, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more football breaks, football talk, and football chatter all fall long. Jazbeescasebreaks, fall and winter long. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.